When shooters hear 9mm, first thoughts are drawn to the automatic style. Rarely do revolvers come up in the conversation. This oversight should happen a lot less now that the ejection of spent cartridges has improved. Velocities for the 9mm are over 1100 square feet per second, giving the cartridge excellent stopping power. Recoil is reduced, less than that of a 45 ACP or a 357 Magnum. A 9mm revolver is excellent for concealed carry and home defense applications. We've listed the top 5 9mm revolvers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 5, the Taurus 905. It comes as no surprise that Taurus has had a 9mm revolver for some time. After all, the gunmaker has wheel guns chambered for nearly everything under the sun. The 905 has been the mainstay for many for the past decade or so and is a more than capable defensive gun, along with just about anything else you'd want out of a 9mm. Granted, the steel-framed handgun is on the lower end of the capacity holding only 5 rounds, but that's fairly standard for the majority of concealed carry revolvers regardless of the caliber. The 905 makes up for this by coming in lighter at 21 ounces and slightly narrower 1.4 inches in width than other 9mm revolvers. Plus, it's fairly streamlined with a built-in rear sight, and all the edges are fairly smoothed down. The only hitch, at least for some, is the spur on the hammer, though it's really not a deal-breaker. Handily, the 905 utilizes Taurus Stellar clips to hold the rounds in place, a neat bit of engineering that makes loading the clips easier than traditional moon clips. The gun itself is quick to reload with practice. The one hitch in the 905's giddy-up is a substantial double-action trigger pull. Out of the box, it's flirting with 12 pounds pull. Number 4. The Chiapa Charging Rhino Gen 2 60DS Chiapa is an Italian manufacturer that is quickly gaining a reputation for quality and unique designs. The company has been crafting firearms for over 60 years. The family-owned business has used technology and its immense experience to offer firearms like no other company. The Charging Rhino is considered by many to be one, if not the best 9mm revolver on the market. The revolver is lightweight and the quality of the build is the first thing that shooters notice. Several unique features give this shooter the ability to fine-tune. Hammer, springs, and trigger are separated for an individual replacement or adjustment. Plus, the trigger travel stop is adjustable as well. The charging Rhino is finished in a cobalt kinetic slate Cerakote. The grips on the Rhino are just as distinctive with a five-finger groove. A six-inch barrel features a fiber-optic sight. Ten moon clips are included to give shooters the ultimate adjustments in loading and unloading as well. Coming in at number three. Charter Arms Pitbull Sooner or later, nearly every wheel gunner has an inkling to toy around with a 44 Special. This inevitably leads to one gunmaker, Charter Arms. Its long-standing bulldog has become legendary at this point. If for no other reason, then it's one of the only dedicated 44 rigs configured for carry. More recently, the company has shown a real knack with 9mm revolvers too. Starting life a decade ago, the Pitbull is an ingenious system doing away with moon clips, half or full, for spring-loaded ejector. Just snap around in the cylinder and it stays there until it's ejected, just like it was a rimmed cartridge. Anybody who's dealt with moon clips, particularly well-used warped ones, get the advantage the ejectors offer. Additionally, the feature makes the gun compatible with strip speed loaders, which, while not the fastest, are among the most convenient. About as plain Jane a revolver gets, the Pitbull won't turn any heads, aside from an icon of its namesake on the barrel. Matte blasted stainless steel finish, ramp front sight and integral rear are the order of the day. And the trigger isn't a polished job for sure. And its tight cylinder lockup gives it an overall solid feel and dependable performance. A hammer is part of the package, but the spur isn't obnoxious. It can be drawn with little worry of getting it tangled up. Coming in at number two, the Smith & Wesson PC Pro 986. Granted, the PC Pro is a beast of a snub nose and might not exactly fit every armed citizen's definition of the alternate clandestine 9mm revolver. But if overcoming the platform's main constraint, which is firepower, if that's your concern, holding seven rounds in its ample titanium cylinder, the 986 flirts with the capacity of many micro 9mm pistols that have become the hot ticket in recent years. Tuned as for competition, the revolver is very responsive, particularly its trigger. In double action, it's smooth and lighter than most production modes, 
vastly improving the 986's accuracy. At the same tick, shot to shot, the revolver is quick thanks to an over-travel stop that ensures efficiency in rapid fire. Adding to this, the gun comes with an adjustable rear sight, which goes a long way in taking advantage of the other accuracy enhancements with this gun. So all of this is great, but the Performance Center Marvel is still a 31 ounces L-frame revolver with a William taft size monolithic cylinder. Yeah, this adds up to a mild shooter, thus better accuracy. But it'll take some consideration to puzzle out if it fits your carry profile. As do the sights and hammer spur, which all have the potential of hanging up on the draw if you're not practiced. But perhaps not for your first everyday carry gun. Number 1. The Ruger LCR Honestly, the LCR has looks to rival a mud fence. Matte black all around, and a cylinder profile reminiscent of a wasp's nest, the lightweight 9mm revolver, it also comes in 38 Special and 357 Mag, won't win any beauty contests. It doesn't have to. Its attractiveness comes from the reliability and convenience, making it among the most cherished modern-day defensive wheel guns. The LCR's greatest advantage is the eminent concealability, which few other revolvers rival. Weighing in at a hair over 17 ounces unloaded and boasting a 1.8-inch barrel and 6.5 inches overall length, the gun is unassuming and anything but cumbersome. In turn, you're likely to carry this every day. Furthermore, the aircraft-grade aluminum frame revolver is demure enough to fill up a backup gun roll, one which you can dual-purpose ammo with a semi-auto pistol. Light as the five-round revolver is, those who are new to snubbies might find it bucky, but that's nothing that some practice can't cure. Ruger gives you a leg up in this department with an excellent double-action trigger. Smooth as polished marble, the friction-reducing cam system doesn't stack, and makes the 9-pound pole weight much more manageable. Ruger removed every conceivable snag point, such as the exposed hammer and rear sight. It's integral with the frame. Additionally, the LCR 9mm is fast on the reload when you get the system down, utilizing full moon clips. Overall, it deserves its place being among the best 9mm revolvers. What to look for in a 9mm revolver? To find the 9mm revolver that perfectly suits you, you need to take multiple things into consideration. It's not just about going to the local pawn shop and asking around. Neither is it about going to the official firearms distributor. Sure, they may help you, but they don't know what you're looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for either, you've come to the right place. I've spent years trying to find that perfect revolver. And after years of searching, not only have I found my perfect match, but I'm now prepared to help you do the same. Know what you're looking for. Although revolvers, especially 9mm, aren't really pocket-tearing cannons, they aren't packs of gum either. 9mm revolvers are perfect if you want to practice concealed carry or everyday carry. Some may perfectly fit into your pocket, while others require a holster, and 9mm revolvers do pack a punch. After all, standard issue police weapons are often 9mm in caliber. Be that as it may, the 9mm revolver won't stop a bear in its tracks. If you want to protect yourself from big game and criminals, you're much better off getting a bigger caliber rifle. Revolvers also have limited capacity. In some rare cases, you'll find that they can fit up to 10 rounds in one go. However, most of them are 5, 6, or 7 rounds, so if you're looking for high-capacity firearms, you're best off looking somewhere else. Price Of course, no one can ignore the importance of this factor. For some, the price tag won't matter too much. If that's the case, you can skip this part. However, if you're like most people who are looking to protect themselves, their families, and their homes, the price is going to be an important factor. As a rule of thumb, quality, performance, and durability are much more important factors than price. After all, any revolver is a deadly weapon you don't want to run the risk of it misfiring. Give a little more to receive a little more. Reliability The fact that a weapon is constructed of the best materials on the planet won't mean anything if the revolver jams on you when it's supposed to fire. Remember, we may be talking about life and death situations here. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do here other than listen to what other users have to say. Accuracy Accuracy is an important factor in firearms. Yeah, this is true, but with pistols and revolvers, you can't expect rifle or carbine great accuracy. The range is lower, the barrel's shorter, and you won't have any aiming paraphernalia. Unless your role model is the mid-90s Danny Glover. Expect effective accuracy at up to 25 yards. Within that range, feel free to compare different revolvers with their accuracy. Any accuracy statistics that are further away won't tell you too much about the revolver itself. Size Want to keep the gun inside your home to ward off burglars and intruders? then size doesn't really matter. You're just going to keep it somewhere hidden anyways. But if you plan on carrying the revolver on you, you need to consider its size. You're probably planning on using it as a concealed carry. It's nobody's business what you're carrying as long as what you're doing is legal. In most states, you're going to need a concealed carry license to carry a hidden firearm. 
People may not have any warning if it's concealed. But if a revolver is too large, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. When picking the best 9mm revolver for you, you may want to consider that size. Weight. Usually, the bigger the weapon is, the heavier it's going to be. However, this isn't necessarily the case. You need to consider how heavy a weapon is and your own size. If you're 5'3 and weigh barely 140 pounds soaking wet, a heavy gun will be hard to wield, conceal, and operate. Remember, for personal protection, you're not looking for firepower, but safety. That said, some people are looking for firepower, so think about what you need. Let us know in the comments which model works best for you and why. Thanks for watching the video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.